We are looking good. We are looking excellent. Bang. There we have it. Beautiful. That should be the end, yeah. That's the end of that. So, how this pans out. This is looking mighty close. Woo! Oh, we got him. Mighty close for us. And an absolutely brilliant shot. Oh dear. Can we go reverse? Oh, I didn't. That wasn't using the bug either. Because we'd already come to a stop. And we missed them, they missed us. Come on. Stink. Yes. Nice shot. Got him. Come on, you can finish him. You're right here. Got him. Got him. We are on the verge of a major victory. Wow, actually, that's a very good shot. That's a... Ooh, it's just going to come across the bow. Oh, we got front. We got him. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, it is good to be back and we're back here with Ultimate Admirals Dreadnoughts and we continue the second episode in the second series as we continue upon a campaign with the Italian Empire. So what we are, we are going to do today is go through a few turns. I did skip a few turns uh, between episodes just so we could get a few, a little bit more tech and to see what sort of battles would avail. So I uh, had a couple of big battles uh, in between those episodes uh, with those turns and we were victorious. Uh, so we've actually come back quite strongly or continued our strong offensive uh, or well, actually some of them were defensive battles and we are quite our prestigious, naval prestige has gone up quite a bit. Uh, we're still kicking along. We haven't lost. We didn't lose anything in those battles, which was great. We got some damage, some serious damage on one of our battleships, but we didn't lose it. And a heavy cruiser got some uh, damage as well. Now we have got um, some new tech. I don't think it'll be if I have a look at the menu down here because it's a few turns we've gone ahead. But uh, we have got some new tech, which allows us to build. Uh, oops, we will go and have a quick look here. We can build a heavier displacements on our armored cruiser or heavy cruiser so it's gone from i think originally it was about 4000 we now can do 4500 so not right now we're going to do that uh after and the next turn because i'm hoping we get a few more tech points or, or something new that tech what i've moved across is we were on cruiser design we did get the 4500 ton heavy cruiser i've now moved that uh, uh priority tech uh, research over to hull strengthening hopefully to get into 19th century warships or we're currently researching this question mark we'll see where we go from there we're still going through the torpedoes as well so hoping we'll get something there as well very soon and of course we're trying to reduce the uh, boilers in terms of weight so we can put more on our ships but so far a success but if you look very closely at this map right now right down here with Bari and Torento, we have a massive armada of ships from the Austro-Hungarian Empire. We have six battleships, seven cruisers or heavy cruisers, three light and three torpedo boats. We've got nothing to compete with that. We're still quite, you know, we've only got four, four, five and seven uh, all up. So we've got so oh, 20 torpedo boats, which we've got a few of. But... We are, oh sorry, we've only got seven torpedo boats. So we don't have much because a lot of our fleet is being repaired from the battles I've had. We've got lots in the making. So it's going to be interesting what I do, what happens when I switch over to the next turn. But anyway, thank you all for joining me and I hope you're enjoying this series, uh, which is back because I did have a bit of a break and upgraded to 1.05. Uh, 1.05 has so many new things that uh, it's, it's changed a whole Whole pace of the game i have found a few bugs but I'll, I'll sort of point those out uh as we go but i'm sure a lot of you already know about them 
So let's go in straight into the next turn because we want to find a battle. But it's not going to be very good. Uh, Alright, so we did get a new tech. Uh, submarine hull, uh, coast submarine. Is that the 400 ton displacement with two tubes, two to uh, four torpedoes. So it's a to do, so it's, it's a work in progress. Uh, they actually lost two transports. Now let's have a look where that big armada went to. It looks like it disappeared. Okay, so we have one heavy one battleship. We do have, ooh, we do have a, a German Amada coming in. We have three task for three battleships, one heavy, one light, and one top torpedo boats. So that's on its way uh, out to us, but it mustn't have too much fuel. It's a bit of a travel. So that's going to be interesting as well. We do have a battle. Where have we got a convoy battle somewhere? Where is, oh, there it is, just here. So we have got a convoy battle, which will be an interesting one, one heavy, so we can do that. Uh, and we can actually have a look again. They have laid down a hell of a lot of ships. So we've got to get a real move on uh, and uh, move in and a lot of refitting on the uh, Germans as well. So we've got quite a bit to come up against, especially the Austro-Hungarian. They are actually pumping out ships like there's no tomorrow. And we have got them, but we have uh, got to get some of our newer stuff happening, which we will do. But we're going to get this convoy. We always like a battle. It's not going to be a big one, but uh, let's get into it uh, and see how we go. So it's not quite an equal match. So we could get quite nastily destroyed in this one. What I have noticed so far is our ships do sink or take on a lot water a lot faster with the update so i'm guessing that's a bit more realistic than what it was so we're going to take off this we're not detached cool this is our heavy so we need to take out some of their ships very fast that's a heavy as well that is a heavy as well and they have a light sitting somewhere i don't know where their light is now they're all going to have torpedoes, so and just like us, they're going to have the same range. Oh no, they don't have torpedoes. He does. All right, so the, the forward ship has torpedoes, and the rear one does. Okay, so we can definitely look at coming after the first ship with the battles that I did between episodes. It turns out some of those battles I intercepted some task force that were going across after their battle so the ships were already heavily damaged when I came into contact with them. These ones seem to be brand spanking new or in full shape so we are coming close to this so now we're going to turn and we're going to try to we just got to keep away from the leopard might put you because you're not going to be able to do too much all right we need to get some water on board so we can slow down because what have we got speed wise 20 so we got a little tiny bit of speed over here right, she she is a bit slower Good, we got some engine damage, that's what we want. Let's see if we can set some fire to the decks. Now that we can turn our rear turrets nearly close to target. Good, we've already got some fire on board. Now let's go back to two times. There we go, we got some flooding happening. He will launch probably. There we go. We've launched because we have flooded the tubes. Sorry, we've flooded the ship slightly. He still has enough speed to probably outmaneuver us. They've flooded us as well. We are looking good. We are looking excellent. Bang. There we go. Beautiful. 
That should be the end, yeah. That's the end of that. So that was really nicely done. So now, what we're going to do, we have got Torps over on the Leopard. So if we keep out of his Torp range, we can bring in our Light Cruiser. And we might be able to get, if we can do a turn here. He's slowing down. See, he's slowing down because of the sinking ship in front of him. So, if we now slow down ourselves, we'll throw in some smoke. We may be able to now, I want to be able to come around. Alright, he's going the other way. Alright, we'll go this way. He's really taking a risk slowing down around there. Alright, we'll take our light cruiser while our heavy cruiser reloads. So, this should be pretty good. Where is... He had a torpedo boat, I thought. Maybe not. No, it's just these two. Okay. Well, we're going to be able to make haste and absolutely destroy those transports up there very shortly. What have you got seven inches? Throw you over and think. Oh, whoa, whoa, I don't want to. Alright, he's in a bit of trouble. Some light fire. And it looks like this battle all has to only work, worry about dodging his torpedoes. So you need to move out of the way. He looks like he wants to come in for a torpedo hit. So if we can right up his... We should... Be good. Try to come up in the rear of him and basically then push out to the left or right and we will launch some torpedoes. Oh, he's really damaged us. We will get out of there. Looks like he's chasing us. Now, I think if he hits us with our light cruiser, we would be pretty much gone with one torpedo hit. So he is already, I can see, he's trying to launch a torpedo at us now. He's trying to maneuver into position. So we could be in a bit of trouble here. We're going to turn off. Hopefully that will save us. And I'm going to throw on aggressive. I don't know if he'll launch though. That's it. Poor Peach. It's going to be very interesting how this pans out. This is looking mighty close. Woo! Oh, we got him. Mighty close for us. And an absolutely brilliant shot. Alright, we can come in for the kill now. Let's go. Go up to three times. He's at 59. We've got to watch him uh, launching and some more torpedoes though. But he's pretty much finished. We're just going to sink him. So let's do some... Let's get the uh, heavy with some armor piercing. And let's go crazy. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Oh no, I'm going to try to slow us down here. I'll show you a bug right here, guys. 
stops instantly. I'm not going to use this. So if you put reverse, the ship stops in instantly. So I won't be utilizing this cheat or this bug uh, to outdo uh, torpedoes. But hopefully they'll fix that very soon. Pumping out the water. So I might utilize this light we can get out of here. I might utilize the light cruiser to go after those, but he's getting up to smashed at the moment. Oh no! We've lost him. She is gone. By an ammo explosion. Unfortunate. And I'm going to go aggressive because pretty much dead in the water. We may be able to get a shot off. Oh dear. Can we go reverse? Oh, I didn't. That wasn't using the bug either. Because we'd already come to a stop. And we miss them, they miss us. Alright, let's get a move on. Come on. going so slow come on we ammo we're about to load up we'll see if he can he won't get double shot not both turrets missed let's take out some of these transports then we'll come around and give the uh, heavy another go is that the leopard yeah we'll take the leopard out in a moment but let's go damage this transport Get an easy win. We want to turn the torpedoes off because how many torpedoes have we got? We want to use that torpedo for the heavy. The easy, easy kills. Take them while we've got them. And they would do the same to us. That's you gone. And let's go over to this one. Can we get... Oh, maybe I'll get a shot. While well, we turn back to take out the leopard. Torpedoes off at us. Um, he may have from firing torpedoes. I don't know. So basically, if we can get into range... Let's slow this down. Oh, he's actually nearly sunk anyway. Really, we finished him off, basically. One more shot at water level and we should take him out. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Torpedoes in the water. I didn't even notice. So I am out of here. And... Oh, we got him anyway. There you go. The leopard is done. The battle is finished. Again, another win, another victory. We did have a loss, a minor loss, so we should be able to smash out another light cruiser pretty quickly. Now, where were you based? Uh, Eastern Mediterranean, you were... It doesn't tell you where it was based. Okay. So, we will make another light cruiser... So another victory, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we're just, actually, we might go in and design this new ship first. Let's go have a quick look at uh, build ships. No, not you. We've got a new design ship. Hmm. What, 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 what name? Okay. So 
Let's quickly have a look at, we don't want a battleship, we want a cruiser. Alrighty, so we can now pop you up, we've already got you up. So we've already got you to 4,500. We'll change your name in a moment. We have named the other one, the Echidna. Spiky Echidna. I wonder what we could name this bad boy. All right. Uh, happy with the speed. Let's start putting some... Uh, what have we got on you? We have... Pretty sure it's all pretty much upgraded, yep. So they've all got the upgrades. And it looks like you've got the light, the version 1. So let's go main tower, let's go 2. Let's go the rear. Hmm. What's that weight looking at? So once we throw those heavies, we will upgrade to a funnel of me can't fit. That can. We're looking at another 15 weight wise. Let, let's go that way. Now, gun wise, we've really still got the 11 inches. We have 9 inch. 9 inch on these at the back. Looks like. Well, 9 in at the front, 8 in at the back. Can we get an 11 inch? Ooh, 438 ton nut. But we can probably put a couple of 10s. Oops, we need to do the uh, center line. We go those, is not really an angle, so they're no good. Can we? I don't think these are going to work, are they? No, that's not giving me the option to allow me to actually use any of these. Or maybe I haven't researched, or maybe they just can't fit. Not sure on that. Maybe let me know if you know why they're not going on. Okay, back to the main, and we're going to go down. So we're going to have to go. We have to go to the nine. So a nine at the front and a nine at the back. So that's still an improvement from nine eight. How about if I get a ten at the back? Yep. All right. So engine efficiency. We are right on the weight. All of our other ships actually have m not many bulkheads, not maximum. We drop to many, we get a bit of space. So do we just keep this at a nine inch? I think we do. Okay, but Let's have a look. We get that a bit wider. Or overweight. Or do we make it a bit thinner? Obviously, width is going to give us stability. Hmm. But. Our displacement. So that's obviously double checking at this will. The height of the hull greatly affects the ship's maneuverability. Yeah. A taller, considering the larger hull is less stable shooting platform, but is more resistant against flooding. So a less stable. So a taller, that's what we're doing there, right? We're taller. So we can get it into weight there. But we've got no guns, no torpedo. We need torpedo tubes. 
All right, let's throw it. We're going to see what weight's going to be like once we at least throw torpedo tubes on both sides. We're going to then go through. We don't have any really improvements here, but we do have the weight, which compound will lighten us up a bit. Beautiful. But then we like to do that and we like to go to underwater protection. It's going to add another bit of weight. Then we want to get the faster turret, standard reloading. Yes, reloading. So we're already jumping at weight. Don't have anything new here. We'll go increased weight. And everything else is fine. We probably can go more. We don't need maximum. Increased, okay. Everything else is pretty good. All right. So we are now sitting at, have we forgotten anything other than, I know we've forgotten our minor secondary guns and castmates, but I'm just trying to work out what we do. Or do we drop us down to many? I would like this one to be a bit. I'm happy with the speed, range. Well, we don't need a huge range around where we are. We're not sending this, this ship won't go up to Germany. So we're only in the local area. So we could drop you down a thousand. That's going to save us some weight. That's actually pretty good. Let's see what we can do. When there, got a little bit to play with. Do we just line all these up? We won't be able to do four inch. Probably do three inch. Oops. All right, so we need to, we need to get rid of these. Come on. Come on. Okay. There we go. Go on. And they're still going to give us a good range. So I'd say get rid of the middle ones. What does that leave us? 66, 366. Did we put anything else? Oh, yes, we did. We didn't want those. 371. Those can go. All right, 360 and... We can put those in. No, oh, no, we've already got torpedoes, right? I want to put... There we go. I know energy and efficiency is a bit down. But to put in heavier engines, I'm going to need... Oh, we didn't put those torpedo tubes have gone, right? It's still overweight. Oh, we're not... We're, we're, we are overweight. Take you off. And we are spot on. Oh, come on. There we go. It's a big ship. All right, we're going to go with that. Okay, we will name you the platypus. Theories with uh, a very, a very. Yep, I'd like to look at it. Let's launch you off. Uh, save design. And we're going to go back to the main menu. We need to put one. We're going to put two of you into. You watch. I'll put, I'm going to put one uh, into production. 
And we're going to put one light cruiser as well into production. Because we lost one. Okay, so we have the battle of all battles, but we're on the negative or the underdog side. So this one, I'm probably going to... Uh, we do have a couple of battleships that are actually quite a lot bigger than theirs. So that's a plus. Uh, I don't have torpedoes. They do. Two tubes. Two tubes. Two tubes. All right, so... Uh, we're going to try to delay first, okay? Because if we can delay this battle, it's probably going to be the better for the benefit of us. So let's see what happens. Fail. So we're going to go in the battle and we're going to do a runner. Also, this might not be the most fun battle. I'll decide if I include this in the video or not. Tactics is we're going to... They're running, aren't they? They're running towards their other battle. So we might just send in the torpedo boat, see if we can get rid of a torp. Uh, we'll let these guys stay in the distance. It's only going to be a fight from the ranges on this one. And we'll get them all to hone in on the first ship. Alright, let's go. Let's get some speed happening for now. I would prefer them to take that off. And I would prefer you all to go heaps. Gonna wait until we get a bit closer. So they're quite they're quite the distance away. Oh, we've got the light here. Okay, I forgot about you. You can just stick in this direction at the moment. See if it was the battleship we could go nicely into. Oh, they're damaged, they're damaged. They are damaged. What about these two were brand new, weren't they? Yep. All right, so we've got one. I would say that's the potentially the battleship. All right, let's move out the way. What are we going to launch? Maybe, maybe not. We're out of here. Yeah, we're already on the way, so we're fine out the way of that torpedo. That's it. We got some flooding on him. Keep it up. Come on. Gonna have to flood him more than that. Looks like he's making a runner. More flooding. Here we go. You should now sink. Poor old torpedo boat. Big guns are up. Can't survive that. Yep. It's dangerous. This is where the AI is going to take our ships and put them in full stop mode. Come on, pump the water out. Actually, if you stay in that direction and survive, you can try to torpedo the meteor. Hold on, we gotta sink him. We need to sink him. That's it. Oh! Sunk torpedo boat. So two of their torpedo boats sunk. Ah, it's going to get sunk.
We will lose a torpedo boat. Might have to look at uh, redesigning these. They're sinking too easy. Too easily. Poor Balestra is getting absolutely smashed. sunk yes pump the water boys the water you've got ah oh, you've just oh you launched them as well oh you're gonna miss he'll get you you're dead oh well he'll miss just but he'll hit us because we're not moving. Alright, that's gone. That was expected. Alright, we sunk torpedo boat. No! Oh, no. Oh, that's going to be close. All good. Alright. Good angle. So we've lost one ship to three, four, four ships to theirs have lost, I think. So we're actually doing pretty good. Totally unexpected. So now I want you to all open up. See, this is, this is, this is, this is dangerous. We need to sink you fast. Dead in the water, perfect. Oh, we should be able to get around there. Come on, sink. Gonna launch torps at us, come on. Stink. Yes. Nice shot. Got him. All right. Now they don't have torpedoes, do they? It's turning, turning, turning. You've missed it. Put another one in the water. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yes. Completely and utterly destroyed. 10%. Wait for you to reload. Might as well finish him. We'll chase down this other one. Yes. Nice job. We got a light. So what have you got? Nothing. So we only got one with the torps up there. Come on, you can finish him. You're right here. Got him. Got him. We are on the verge of a major victory. We've got now, this is dangerous. All right. We're going to come across here. We'll be a bit better off. He's sunk. We got him. Bohemia is finished. All right. We're about to get a torpedo launched at us, and we know that we cannot outmaneuver him. Flooded. Two flat. Whoa! They will launch. He will launch because we are an easy target right now. 
we can't outmaneuver him at all. Whoa. He will be able to outmaneuver us. So they're fine. They're all good to go. He hasn't launched at us though. Very good gunners on our ships, I will say. It's really cool though. Done a good job on this. Very good. Throw it back down. He is really getting the fire now. That was a waste of his shot, because you'll see he will outmaneuver that quite easily. Well, didn't expect that. Oh, we hit him. We hit him. I didn't expect to hit him. Oh, no. He's hit one out this end as well. Oh. We're in deep, deep, deep trouble. We got hit. We got hit. Oh, wait. We, we can't take it on water, but we can't see it. Got him. Whoa. That was just, just luck. All right, we need to just get out of here now. In a lot of trouble. And your Napoli is just going to have to keep trying to... There he goes. This is just a death bath now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's ready to go. Wait, wait, wait. He's got power. He's got power. Go, 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 yes! We got away with it. Brilliant. You're the one with no power. What do you got? 15, 4, 5. All right, we're up and running. Bang. <laughs> Knew that would happen. Yep, we've sunk him. Absolutely ripped him to shreds with that shot. Oh, I'm tempted to go after that battleship. That's gonna be close. That is gonna be close. Ouch! We have been hurt. He's been hit. Get out of there. Structurally, we are knackered. I'm only gonna take you out. Come on. Nearly got him. Come on. We just keep firing, firing.
Come on, Wombat. Oh, he's had front torps launched. Didn't even know. That means you could go that way and launch some side torpedoes as well. Wow, actually, that's a very good shot. That's a... Ooh, it's just going to come across the bow. Oh, we got front. We got him. Hey. <laughs> Oh, that is a ripper. Probably have to write that ship off. But I'm going to end it there. Have a look at this. Heavily damaged battleship. Lost torpedo boat. They lost two BBs. Three CAs. Two CLs. Two B... Three T... Oh, ten... That's their major fleet. The Austro-Hungarian Empire is finished in this short term. They are absolutely finished. We got another one. Come on. I'm going to withdraw from this battle. Uh, withdraw success. No damage. Another one. Uh, we'll withdraw from that. Okay, I quickly did that battle. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a success. But the uh, to have a look at the outcome. Look at this. We are at 25,000 VP points over 7,300. Absolutely destroying them. And uh, we've already had a victory over the Germans. So we are doing very, very well. You can see our victory points as a whole uh, as the Allies now are kicking an absolute butt. So we've got our new ship being built, our new uh, platypus. And then we are going to see what we do on the next few turns. But thank you, everyone. I appreciate the support. Please smash that like and subscribe button. And uh, let's go into the shipyard and view our new ship as we go out for the episode. Uh, and here it is. This is it. Our new platypus class. If we actually close all this up. It's a beaut. Absolute beaut, ready to get this little baby into action. Uh, but like always, thank you, and I'll see you all, oops, on the other side.